in Sitka, Alaska, we live on a rock at the edge of the ocean. So we know we have to create, we have to make, we have to collaborate. Maker learning should exist in schools across the country because it makes education more relevant for students. It gives them purpose and meaning and I think activates intellectual inquiry and curiosity that normally does not happen through a textbook. It appeals to the whole mind, the whole student. A project doesn't have one specific solution, so it's really up to them to explore how they would like to approach this idea and to use circuits, cardboard, rubber bands, paper clips, and glue materials that they choose to use skills that they choose to learn to come up with a final product that is unique from the other classmates. Eighth grade is when I took my first shop class. We made cutting boards back then, and I really liked visualizing something in my own head and then putting it to use and making it. Kids engage most with real problems, so when they come into the space, it's all about encountering a problem and then creatively coming up with a unique design to solve that problem. Students just naturally understand the meaning of their learning when they're creating something, and we now live in a knowledge-based economy. And when you give students the opportunity to be creative with their learning, you're preparing them for the world in which they're going to live. I have been very fortunate to have very supportive administrators in my school and through my district. So when they walk into the classroom and they see making, they know that it might be a little loud, it might be a little messy, it might look a little unorganized, but there's a lot of learning going on, very powerful learning. If you want to create a change, then what you need to do is move forward with purpose. Making is moving forward with purpose. Find out who's doing those miraculous things that are making a difference for students in their learning and amplify their message in order to support a transformation at a school and district level. So two and a half, Third so it's a straight point this way. There is a power in education when you make learning irresistible and when you put it back in the hands of the students and make them the center of their education. And I think the maker movement and the maker mindset is the perfect avenue.